Hello everyone, I'm Luigi the Kid94 here and welcome back to another episode of Mario Kart A Online Races. Yeah, it pretty much been a while since I actually recorded this, but it has been a while since I played it because I played earlier um earlier today. A lot of things happen. For one, I got the Golden Glider, which you probably see at the end of this stage. Was almost done with this. And well, that's pretty much it is it though. I couldn't record last week since I had a throat infection. I really couldn't talk because if I talk, then my throat will start hurting. Last but not least, I'm playing as a lightweight, but if you want to be specific, featherweight, since Lamy and the babies don't have the most, the greatest speed and the greatest weight, obviously. So I'm going to try to work it with the circuit special with the off-road wheels. We don't know how this is going to work out, but let's just try it. Let's not get pushed around like a rag doll. And let's just, just keep them, just try to win. Because him and the next three parking plans, Lightweight, Baby Luigi, and Toad. In that order, yeah, in that order too. So I have to be very, very careful with, you know, Baby Luigi, since he's also a Featherweight, aka Lightweight. And Toad's a... He's more of a heavier, lightweight. He has great speed, but some cars his speed will get up to like, I think over Mario and Luigi's speed if they're driving in a low speed car though. I think the um, airship car has the most, like had kind of the, um, the worst speed and weight if you play as a lightweight, which is why I never play as a lightweight with the, the uh, airship cart. I like the plan with the lightweights with more heavier cars, even though they're kind of not really good with the weight. Are you serious? Well, at least he got third. Wow, how about, like, oh, there's like seven people here. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next race. And we're back with Mario Circuit, which I didn't even start at boost because my camera was being a dick. Oh, so I'm driving an ATV. Hmm. I just don't see ATVs online. Especially the standard the ATV. I see the Wild Wiggler a lot and also the Teddy Bear one. But I don't really see the uh, standard ATV. There's only about like, three of them. I wish they were like had more ATVs. I thought they had like even carts, even bikes, and even ATVs. But it seems to be more carts and bikes. I'm guessing because back in Mario Kart Wii, people keep playing as the bikes more. Ooh. That was close. You keep riding with the bikes more than the cars, for obvious reasons. So I'm guessing trying to like, even that out by making the carts more... Like, ugh. By making more carts and bikes. Which I can kind of see though. But with the ATVs are cool though. Do I don't want to use them. I mean, I use them, but not always, though. I just use them, like, occasionally I just use the ATVs. I don't really use the bikes as much. I'm not a bike person. And this is going to happen. If I ride the bike, I will probably lose. Simply, especially the one with the inside drift. Yeah, I'm not good with inside drift bikes. By experience, I played Mario Kart Wii with a mock bike, and I instantly just, like, kept crashing into the wall. So I said, nope, nope, nope. I'd rather stay with the outward, the um, outward drifting bikes and the carts. It fits me more. That's why I never ride, ride that bike in this game. Oh yeah, coin. But there's one bike in this game I actually like. It has swung the vermin. I haven't checked the speed and the stats for that one, but it looks cool though. That's pretty much the only bike I actually like, but I never use it though. Jeez, third place again. This is going great. Even though I'm, even though I'm playing as a featherweight. I guess I'll see you guys in the next and the last race. Whoa, boy. Rainbow Road. I'm also going to stay back a little bit. Because I don't want to get pushed off. I'm the only lightweight in this room, so... I think it's best to keep my distance. And use it against you. You know, I forgot to explain the other tracks 
that we already played. The Mount Wario and the Mario Circuit of this game. I like Mount Wario so much even when it first shown off though. I didn't expect it to be in the um in this game including called Mount Wario. Like Wario owns so many freaking stages. He owned a stadium. A Coliseum. And multiple stadiums though. I forget what what else he own again? Wario something? Wario Stadium Coliseum. I think that's it. It's Stadium, Coliseum, and Mount Wario. He owns his own mountain. Pretty much obvious back in Mario Land 3, Wario Land, he got a bunch of money. I guess he bought his own mountain. There's also another track, Mario Circuit. Another great track. Even though the Mario Circuit can be a little, Mario Circuit can be really boring, but this one in the last game, Mario Kart 7, Mario Circuit, that's pretty good actually. I like the music too. And now this one. I. Personally, I don't really like this ring more. The music's cool, but it's more like a station, like a space station more than a, um. Like, it's more of a space station than a, um, uh, actual Rainbow Road from past games. I know it's back in outer space, it's above Earth, like in Mario Kart Wii, but it's all space station. But get me wrong, it's cool, the music's cool though, but I pretty much prefer the N64 Rainbow Road better. Just saying. Because the music, how awesome it is, and the fact that it's kind of short though. Like, the N64 Rainbow Road is very short. Which wasn't really a lap, like a section thing. I know it's kind of big. And in fact, it would take much longer than the N64, the N64 version. And that's a loss. But it's also pretty good, though. I wish they kept the, like, laps in. Make it like a two-lap thing. Well, I lost, unfortunately. So I guess I'll see you guys in the next part where I play Baby Luigi or Toe. Haven't decided yet, but see ya.